Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Charles. You're back again on a brand new video for y'all today. And today, this is a number two market watch video and a discussion about the next format. So, without further ado, drop the like, comment, and subscribe. So, yeah, guys, let's go straight to the point. So, um, right here, I'm looking at the OCG, and it looks like the format is actually really, really interesting as we see. So, I'm looking at the Black Luster Soldier Tournament Chengdu and uh grass super heavy samurai it looks like she's with tears not the best deck anymore in this case like look at this 60 freaking cards people we're talking about 60 cards right here like they have block dragon like not even banned in this case and obviously max c is gonna be here because they're just they just like max c and yeah this deck is really interesting i don't know if I don't know if people use the uh, other super heavy samurai cards because it doesn't look like they really use it well besides the leak too but um yeah the deck it's kind of interesting i mean i feel like this deck could be somewhat of a big potential in the next format during post cyberstorm axis so everyone's being everyone's gonna be prepared for that set to come out and plus you know my my next deck obviously mana dome will be the go-to deck i'll try out um yeah right now we're seeing here grass super heavy samurai ishizu vernalips and emancipator that's a long long name people yeah look at that Three block dragon i think i think for all the ocg side of things we might see you might see block dragon becoming banned banned in this case and grass i don't i don't know if grass is gonna be limited i don't see that happening but yeah it's crazy after all these years that we had to deal with ishizu tier for both ocg and tcg now we don't even have to worry about it as much so yeah super heavy samurai pure super heavy samurai is kind of nuts she's a tier pearly i don't know i mean does anyone really like pearly let's be honest let me know down below in the comment section you guys like pearly because the deck's getting bought out here uh exo sister it's kind of nice i'll be honest with you it's good to banish cards man it's good to banish cards but um yeah so I'm just looking out here, just a small insight about what the future is going to be like for the next ban list in the next format, because we all know what's going to happen with Cash Tira. I feel like they're definitely going to hate Unicorn 100%. Because like, because right now I'm looking at the value of Cash Tira Unicorn and it just like went down in value drastically. So we're going to go straight to the point. I just want to let you know, I'm just going to show you guys all these decks. That were played in the tournament sprite tri brigade that deck might be potential uh she's here and uh yeah so these are all the decks uh, you can you can always slow down the video for all i care you know what i'm saying so yeah let's go straight to them let's get straight to the actual point so super heavy samurai this deck it's getting bought out right now the ulti's um, if anyone's really interested, well, you can still buy this card right now for the ulti, uh, Susanoo. I said it right. Susanoo. And, uh, yeah, this card's really going up in value for ulti. I don't know if it's really, I mean, pure super heavy samurai, yes. But, um, yeah, this, it's getting bought out. It's getting bought out slowly. So far, people are starting to look into the new format and, um, it's hilarious. So, super heavy samurai and then stardust dragon so maze of memories is coming out tomorrow and as you can see even a common people like even a common right here like look at this crap two dollars for a common stardust that's crazy that's freaking crazy and then you know because stardust is actually technically budgety you can actually technically buy this card you can technically buy oh okay i'm saying three I'm saying it three times uh stardust dragon still worth buying it's only a one of just for the mana dome so if anyone's gonna play mana dome just need one copy that's all it is unless if cash tier is to be alive in the next format which i hope i hope that deck does die off real fast um yeah this deck i mean mana dome is obviously gonna be a rogue tier deck which it which i've looked into the ocg's meta breakdown and mana dome has barely topped so yeah best to get this card right now um it's gonna go up over time and speaking of stardust dragon axel synchro stardust dragon so people are buying this for 39 dollars usually you don't want to buy pre-sales in this case um sometimes post sales like after a week or two they will most likely go down depending on how many you um listings they will show up 
and how many times the card will be pulled. So, guys, whatever you do, always buy singles. So, save it saves you more money. And the fate of Kashira. So I told you about this. Uh, I told you guys about this Kashira unicorn. It dropped down in value a lot over time, all the way down to ten dollars. Still worth buying for people that really want to play Kashira. However, it's still it's still expensive as fuck. So, yeah, the deck, the fate of this deck will slowly die off until post ban list. These cards will go back up drastically. That's when people will tend to sell the deck. So, yeah, yeah, just think about it. If you want to play this deck? There's always other budget options, man. Lately, we've been seeing trap tricks being coming more playable in this format, and the deck literally destroys Cash Tier as a whole. It just destroys it. So, yeah, on to the next one. Pressure Planet Raid Soth. That's such a long name for a field spell. Uh, let's go. Yeah, $48, $49.50. Still expensive. I, I actually got two of these for $90. For ninety dollars, so I actually got it on eBay. Uh, the offer was two field spells for a hundred, and I asked for ninety, and he accepted. So that's a big W for me. But I mean, I don't know about you guys. Uh, I hope you guys didn't spend ninety dollars. That'd be crazy. Hope you guys didn't spend that much, bro. Let's be real. Um, on to the next. We're looking at the uh, Photon Hyper Nova set as a whole. So all these cards are going down. People, I remember people are buying Gravekeeper's Inscription, assuming that. The deck will be somewhat good uh, with, uh, was it, Tear Laments or something, if I remember. But um, yeah, it went down drastically. I feel like this card is actually definitely worth grabbing right now in this case. It's technically a staples card, but for a certain decks that really re heavily relies on graveyards. So um, yeah, it's best to buy a place of this right now. This is probably like the one time you'll ever see this go down, unless, you know, the next format if they somehow like ner uh, if they somehow buff up tier again which i mean hey i kind of miss milling my deck every time you know kind of miss milling my deck every time it's a good feeling and uh yeah kind of miss tier limits becoming that good and uh speaking of more stuff uh got uh bestials oh yeah people um bestials in ocg is actually really good uh with the new synchro with the chaos monster and the new synchro bestial abalos and uh the what's that card dogmatica lulu wraith or something i don't remember but yeah there there's some new support i think this might be the ever the last ever time we'll ever see alabas support being out and uh they have not announced a new core set yet so we might have to see if there's still more stories into the alabas lore and or the was a feast of star for us so yeah these cards still still has remained the same price this card used to be used to got bought out because of jesse Connett. and i remember magna this card if you guys want to play bisty okay you guys can't even see it at all if you guys want to buy the magna mutt it's best to buy it right now this is probably like the only one time you'll ever see magna mutt becoming this cheap so it is worth it sprint if people play sprite yeah this card's gonna go up over time and then if people are going to play Marincess for the World Dragon Sea Alanis, best to at least get one or two copies. Because Cash Tier is still viable. And um, Mugcracker. In this case, Mugcracker. Yeah, this card's just going to go up no matter what. So, if anyone's going to play Dark World, best to buy that card right now before it becomes $20. On to the next, Marincess. This deck. It amazed me to this day that this deck is still doing very well along with Mathmech, which I should I could have just shown Mathmech, but actually you could just this instead. Mathmech. Yeah. I don't I feel like not even cutting the whole video. Yeah, Mathmech and Marincess. So yeah, these two decks are actually topping in regionals and locals as well. So And they're both budgety too, don't get me wrong. They're really budget decks and and I feel like these de two decks alone can still beat the best deck. Cash Tiro and Brand. So it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling to see that for once in a format like this, budget decks are actually way more playable than ever compared to the last format. So Sword Soul. Sword Soul is still budgety. It's just you have to get Mo Yi and Emergence. But the question is to y'all, will Protoss even be back? Or 
will this deck still be the same deck for a very long time? Because Sword Soul as a whole is such a good deck and it's very fair. Very, very fair deck and it's fun. Synchros, Synchro heavy deck. And you can just constantly use that token spam for them Synchros, you know what I'm saying? And no one's not playing Token Collector anymore, so it's a good feeling. So, yeah. Uh, punks. Well, people that has Punk Therion, people that has Punk Cash Tira. I feel like these cards are worth de are definitely worth selling right now in this case, unless you guys just want to keep it for collection. Like me, I I, I mean I have the whole punk deck, so it's like you know either I want to either if I want to sell or not. It's like you know these cards are really really good for combo heavy, and um yeah I don't know how well it'll do in the next format because this deck alone I don't know what's gonna happen. Um speaking of new stuff. We just we just saw um, Infernobus getting a lot of support from a new set. I think I don't know if it's called Wild Survivors or something else. I don't even know, but yeah, these cards are getting bought out. Uh, Renaud and Emperor Charles, my name, bro. And uh, yeah, I don't think they I don't think these cards are gonna go down in value anytime soon. Despite that new set of cards of Infernobus just got out. So I mean. I don't know how the how well the deck will do because without smoke grenade and um, yeah smoke grenade will you know, I mean smoke grenade is not like in the game anymore unfortunately but you know having to rip somebody's hand every time not once per turn thing is a good feeling so yeah uh Konami uh I congrats you guys for having to get rid of it but then at the same time I kind of miss Dragling in for Noble Knights format so yeah out Emancipators so yeah, this deck is getting some getting some love because of Super Heavy Samurai Researcher. Remember when this card was uh, $40 at one point? It was a good feeling. Yeah, it's getting bought out. It's still worth buying right now for $10. So, um, yeah, it's up to you guys if you want to play Super Heavy Samurai at Emancipator. Even though we don't have grass, but we have we still have some utilities in our favor. And Melfi's this deck, I don't understand. Like, what is so cool about this archetype? Does anyone know? Because I never faced anyone against uh Pearly. I mean, wait, did I just say Melfi? I meant to say Pearly. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Pearly. I don't understand why this deck is somehow good. Does anyone know why? Like, just let me know down below in the comment section. But yeah, these cards are getting bought out right now as you speak. Like, literally just this card and yeah, the other two. And um. Yeah, what did you guys think about this? Because Pearly's looks interesting for a pure deck alone. And the last one, Draco Slayers, which I feel like going forward, we might see Pendulums becoming a decent deck. And I'm surprised that Ignis is very cheap. So I think if for a lot of pen players that really need, wants to play Pendulums again, um, this might be the go-to deck for... The next format because pendulums is still broken the you know what i'm saying the summoning conditions is broken and it's crazy like a crazy crazy freaking summoning condition to this day so yeah look what you guys think what you guys think down below in the comment section uh do you think this video is not bad well made you know this was just my first try. So, um, yeah, guys, this is Charles here, and I'm out of here. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next format. So, um, yeah, without further ado, this is Charles, and I'm out. So, peace out once again.